Adolf Hitler, a name that echoes through history with a chilling resonance, has remained one of the most enigmatic and controversial figures of the 20th century. With his rise from obscurity to infamy, he left an indelible mark on the world, driven by an insatiable ambition and a ruthless vision. The corridors of power and the pages of history are filled with individuals who have sought greatness, but few have done so with the impact and infamy of Hitler. While many strive for leadership and influence, not all achieve it, and even fewer leave a legacy that is both intensely studied and profoundly lamented. This video aims to delve deep into the life of Adolf Hitler to understand the man behind the dictator, the forces that shaped him, and the catastrophic path he carved through history. Early Life Adolf Hitler was born on April 20, 1889, in Braunau-Eimin, a small Austrian town near the German border. His father, Alois Hitler, was a customs official, a strict and authoritarian figure who had a significant impact on young Adolf's early years. Olaus had a complicated family history, having been born out of wedlock and later taking his stepfather's surname. This tumultuous background may have influenced his harsh parenting style. His mother, Clara Palzel, was a nurturing and protective presence in his life. The family environment was a mix of discipline and affection, but it was marked by frequent moves due to Alois's job, which contributed to a somewhat unstable childhood for Hitler. Hitler's early education was marked by inconsistency and lacklustre performance. He attended various schools, showing a keen interest in subjects like history and art, but struggling with formal education's rigid structure. His father had ambitions for him to join the civil service, but Hitler harbored dreams of becoming an artist, a desire that would later influence his worldview and aspirations. The death of his father in 1903 allowed him some respite from his authoritarian influence, but it also thrust him into a period of confusion and aimlessness. Hitler's academic struggles and conflicts with his father over his career path contributed to his growing sense of frustration and alienation. One of the most formative experiences in Hitler's early life was his rejection from the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts in 1907 and again in 1908. This rejection was a severe blow to his ambitions and self-esteem. During his time in Vienna, he lived a bohemian lifestyle, dabbling in painting and surviving on a meager orphan's pension. It was here that he began to develop his political ideas, influenced by the rampant anti-Semitism, nationalism, and social Darwinism prevalent in the city. These early years in Vienna were critical in shaping his ideological outlook and his eventual political path. His exposure to the political and social currents of the time, combined with his personal failures, set the stage for his future radicalization. Career Beginnings Hitler's entry into the political arena began after his service in World War I enlisting as a soldier in the Bavarian army. He found a sense of purpose and belonging that he had previously lacked. He served as a messenger on the Western Front, experiencing the brutal realities of war firsthand. The defeat of Germany in 1918 and the subsequent Treaty of Versailles left him embittered and resentful, feelings that would fuel his political ambitions. Hitler's wartime experiences and the humiliation of Germany's defeat were pivotal in shaping his worldview and his determination to restore Germany's power and prestige. Returning to a defeated and economically devastated Germany, Hitler found himself struggling to reintegrate into civilian life. He joined the German Workers' Party DAP in 1919, a small nationalist group, and quickly rose through its ranks due to his oratory skills and radical ideas. Renaming the party the National Socialist German Workers' Party in SDAP, or Nazi Party, he began to attract a following. However, the early years were fraught with challenges, including financial difficulties and internal conflicts within the party. Hitler's rise was marked by a series of strategic moves and alliances, as well as relentless propaganda efforts. Hitler's breakthrough came in 1923 with the failed Beer Hall Putsch, an attempted coup in Munich aimed at overthrowing the Weimar Republic. Although the coup failed and Hitler was imprisoned, it was a pivotal moment in his career. During his time in prison, he wrote Mein Kampf, outlining his ideology and political plans. The trial and subsequent imprisonment brought him national attention, transforming him from a regional agitator to a significant political figure. His ability to turn a failed coup into a propaganda victory demonstrated his shrewdness and determination. Major Achievements Hitler's rise to power was marked by his ability to capitalize on Germany's economic woes, political instability, and widespread discontent. By 1933, he had maneuvered his way to the position of Chancellor of Germany, and within a year, he had established a totalitarian regime. His significant contributions, from a political perspective, included the consolidation of power, the rearmament of Germany, and the implementation of policies that aimed at reviving the German economy.
Hitler's regime implemented vast public works projects, such as the construction of the Autobahn, and pursued aggressive rearmament, laying the groundwork for his expansionist ambitions. Hitler's impact on Germany and the world was profound and catastrophic. His aggressive foreign policy led to the invasion of Poland in 1939, sparking World War II. His racial policies, rooted in anti-Semitism, led to the Holocaust, the systematic extermination of six million Jews, along with millions of others deemed undesirable by the Nazi regime. His influence extended beyond Germany, affecting the geopolitical landscape and the course of history. The war and the Holocaust left an indelible mark on humanity, reshaping global politics, society, and the collective memory of subsequent generations. Despite the notoriety, Hitler received several honors and accolades during his time in power. He was named Time Magazine's Man of the Year in 1938, reflecting his significant impact on world affairs, albeit controversial and malign. The Nazi regime also conferred numerous awards on him, highlighting his status within the party and the country. These recognitions, however, are overshadowed by the immense suffering and destruction caused by his actions. Personal life. Hitler's personal life was shrouded in secrecy and controversy. He never married publicly during his lifetime, but had a long-term relationship with Eva Brown, whom he married shortly before their joint suicide in 1945. His relationship with Brown was kept largely out of the public eye, contributing to his enigmatic personal life. His familial relationships were complex. He had a distant relationship with his half-siblings and a particularly strained one with his younger sister, Paula. Hitler's interactions with his inner circle were often marked by manipulation and control, reflecting his broader approach to power. Beyond politics, Hitler had several personal interests. He was an avid art enthusiast and had a keen interest in architecture, which influenced his grandiose visions for rebuilding Berlin and other cities. He was also passionate about music, particularly the works of Richard Wagner, whose compositions he found inspiring and reflective of his own ideals. Hitler's interests in art and architecture were intertwined with his ideological beliefs, shaping his vision of a cultural renaissance under Nazi rule. Hitler's philanthropy was largely political, focused on promoting the Nazi ideology and benefiting his party. He initiated several social programs aimed at improving the lives of Aryan Germans, such as the Volkswagen project to create an affordable car for the masses. However, these initiatives were always intertwined with his ideological agenda. The regime's welfare programs and public works projects were designed to garner popular support while furthering the goals of the Nazi state. Later years, as the war progressed, Hitler's health and decision-making abilities deteriorated. Despite the initial successes in the war, the tide turned against Germany with significant defeats, such as the Battle of Stalingrad. Hitler's refusal to surrender or retreat led to devastating losses. His later years were marked by increasing isolation, paranoia, and a reliance on drugs prescribed by his personal physician, Dr. Theodor Morel. The once dominant leader became a shadow of his former self, consumed by delusions and a rapidly collapsing war effort. Adolf Hitler's legacy is one of unparalleled destruction and human suffering. The consequences of his actions reshaped the world order, leading to the formation of the United Nations and the establishment of Israel. His ideology and the atrocities committed under his regime serve as a stark reminder of the dangers of totalitarianism, racism, and unchecked power. The post-war trials, such as the Nuremberg trials, sought to bring justice and accountability, highlighting the enduring impact of his crimes on international law and human rights. Many reflections on Hitler's life come from those who suffered under his regime and historians who have studied his impact. Holocaust survivors, war veterans, and scholars often reflect on the importance of remembering this dark chapter in history to prevent similar atrocities in the future. Hitler himself left behind writings and speeches that provide insight into his mind, but they are largely seen as the ravings of a deluded and dangerous man. The lessons drawn from his rise and fall continue to inform contemporary discussions on extremism, leadership, and the responsibilities of citizenship. Adolf Hitler's life story is a complex and cautionary tale of ambition, ideology, and the devastating effects of absolute power. From his early life in Austria to his rise as the Führer of Nazi Germany, his impact on the world is undeniable and deeply troubling. His policies and actions led to one of the darkest periods in human history, with lessons that continue to resonate today. We encourage viewers to delve deeper into the history of this period, to learn more about the victims and the heroes who stood against tyranny, and to ensure that such a dark chapter never repeats itself. Share this video, reflect on its lessons, and join us in advocating for a world free from hatred and oppression.